Right, here we are on another 10 minute adventure, a lost temple. This one is called Prasat Bante Kutrong, or something similar. I've written it below. Um, and it's fantastic. But first, let's have a 360 round to see what our environment's like. And the word that we've got to use is green. There's an awful lot of green. And it's raining today, but fortunately not at monsoon pace, uh, which can be absolutely disabling. You can't really do a lot when the rain comes in like a fireman's hose. Um, but isn't it green? Look at that. Gosh, that looks like the English countryside. And here we are. Now, I have had a look in through the grass here, and it really is fantastic. And people say, oh, he just he gets too excited. He's putting it on. And no, no, honestly, this really, really does turn me on. It just does something to me. I mean, look at this here now. Going through this sort of like baby elephant grass to enter into an ancient temple where nobody else comes and to see wondrous things. I mean, really, this wouldn't get you excited? And this is where I came to. Now, what we can see here is we've got the wall, you see, which is there. And this would have been the main entrance. Now, this is uh, all filled up with debris, as you can see. So we're gonna clamber through here. But before I go through there, let me peek over the top and I'll show you what I saw. And as Howard Carter, when he was asked, and he broke into Tutankhamun's tomb, and he was asked, what do you see? And Carter said, I see wonderful things. And I also see wonderful things. Look at that, isn't it wonderful? So let me clamber through the hole here. Right, I mean, oh, here we go. Oh, excuse me, oh, go, golly go. Right, okay, we're in. Wow, look at this. It's not complete, no, but it's complete enough that you get a jolly good idea as to its form and its structure and its purpose. And what we can see is we've got a doorway there and next to it would have been another one where that solitary pillar now stands. Um, and then directly in front of us is the entrance way. Look at that, it's taller and grander. That would have had some ornate carvings and stuff on it, beckoning us forward into the inner sanctum. And to the right, two doorways again. But also, and this is jolly interesting. If we go to our extreme right, we've got, see that? A lovely little vaulted room. Now, with the rain, that's going to be my sanctuary. If it comes bucketing down because monsoon rain, there's nothing quite like it. I can harbour in here with my packed lunch. And Jesus Christ, I don't know where you're having your lunch today, but you can see why I get excited. Isn't that fantastic? But we don't have time to dally on great locations for luncheon. Because over here, I want to show you something as well, is, you see, we've only got 10 minutes on these tapes, that's why I have to dash around a bit. Yeah. Right, over here is the wall, the, uh, now the inner wall, but this would have been the, the main outer wall. And, oh, matron, look at that. These enormous uh, stone blocks with these lovely, um, ornate caps on and then the ornate lintels along the top there i've never seen that like that and my guess is those gaps you see in the middle certainly wouldn't have been empty there would have been some lovely ornate carvings in there but alas they have fled like a thief in the night or in this case with the thief in the night now we're going to carry on here and aim through there but just before we do i'll hop up on there and take a view from up there.
And as you can see by that scan, I tried to do as steadily as I could for you. Um, it's pretty big, isn't it? It's pretty big. And it's, look at it, it's all autumnally. I do love autumn. Now then, we go onward and we're going through to what would have been the more sacred of the sites. And again, there would have been this large doorway here. We could see someone's put some scaffolding up. Good for you. It's a bit ugly, but it's here for a purpose. And this is the, the grand entrance way that the, uh, the selected ones, the few, the elite as always, would have come through. So let me just clamber through here. And here we are through to the second part. Now, if you look there, bang in the center of your screen where that V of a tree is, there's a prasat there. We have the one in the middle, which is the largest. And if I scooby-doo over here, there's a third. Look at, there he is. Look at that. This is a fantastic site. It's got so much to offer. I absolutely adore it. So let's go and have a look at this. This is, seems to be the most complete. So we'll have a closer look. As I say, there's three of these, as is the way, often the trilogy. And somebody's put some, this didn't belong here, this lovely, lovely ornate carving. And it always fascinates me that this is still here, you know. You've got to think back to the craftsman who did this, you know, well over a thousand years ago. And you've got to stop and appreciate it. You really have. It's marvellous. And even just such mundane things as this, let me pick this up. It's a brick. Look. What's he pick? It's, but it's almost complete. It's bloody heavy, I'll tell you that. But what I find interesting is it's, it's the same as your brick today, really. I mean, look, there's nothing, there's no difference between this brick and our modern bricks. Now, there must be a reason for that, which is that size is the optimum size to handle for building work. Now, let's have a look inside. Here we go. There's a bally big hole here. Right, you And what I have been doing, you can hear the echo. This, this, I'm going to have to be jolly careful, you know. If I fall in that hole, it's going to be murders. Right. And we look up, and this is almost complete. And it is taller. I mean, hopefully you can hear a bit of an echo to give you an idea. And there it is. Look at that. Wow. Oh, God, you're so cool. Isn't this fantastic? Now, what I have been doing is looking at the bricks, because they would have been set when they were moist, trying to find a fingerprint, you know, so I could say, look. Have a look at this. There's an actual fingerprint from one of the builders. But alas, I've been fruitless so much so far in that search. Um, but I will continue to search and maybe one day I'll find myself a fingerprint of one of the ancient gods, as I'm now considering them. Uh, right, I'm climbing up now into the middle one. And you can see here the difference between our delightful friend we've just visited to here again but the back wall is there but little else and if we look over there there's the third but I think there's more to explore as we return the way we came which is this way and actually whilst we're up here on this large pile of uh, spy that's fallen down. We can see there was another room over there and this is mirrored on the other side. So we've got three prasats, that's with the roofs, um, and two of these outer buildings as well. So it is, for a small complex, there's a lot. There really is, it's a, it's a oh golly go, I almost fell over. There's a, there's a bumper bag of, of fun here. So let's go to the middle one, see what we find. Right, here's the middle one, and it doesn't look as complete. It's a shame then, see where that V is, there would have been a lovely carving or something that is now, you know, is long gone, sold for a, 
I don't know, a fire starter or something, a flint. And we clamber in, and we can see, weirdly enough, look, these bricks are way bigger. So my theory of standardisation has just gone out the wall, out the window, in a matter of less than 60 seconds. So bespoke bricks, that's what we've learnt on this one. And as we see, I'll just stand this up. It's fallen down. There we go. As always, the natives do come in and still use these places for worship. Isn't that pretty, actually? <laughs> That's really very sweet. Oh, hello. You're worth pausing to enjoy. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's, that really is nice. OK. Right, we've got another doorway here, which is submersed in marble. So we're going to have to crawl through. Oh, gosh, why do I always bang my head? Right. And we see in front of us the doorway out, which has been filled with the mud and so on. And look, this is why I like the temples that no one goes to. Isn't that something? It's just so peaceful, so gorgeous. These forgotten temples are way better than the others. They really are. And we can look up here and then we can see the roots, you see, the tree roots finding their way downward and downward until they become something magnificent and overtake the temple. And as we look up, we can see again the ceiling and the greenery. And now that only leaves us with the third temple, which is on our right-hand side as we entered. And three, well, there's not an awful lot left of him. But let us cast our eye back. This has been fantastic. I know I always say that, but they've always got something special to them. And this one just really is, it's just delightful. So it's been a little bit longer, this one. But it's understandable. I'm not walking past any of this. I've romped through as fast as I can. But I hope you've enjoyed our romp through the jungle today. I really do.